Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are up here in northern Wisconsin. We've got the Lund with us, as you can see. Today, we are going to be hitting a beautiful body of water. We are entering the fall season now. Some of the leaves behind us are starting to change. Guys, it's absolutely gorgeous up here. We are going to be targeting smallmouth and walleye. We're gonna be hitting the lake just before dusk. We're gonna be getting the last hour or two of sunlight here. We just got up here a little bit later than normal. The reason for that is because we have caught some giant fish, both smallmouth and walleye out of this lake when the sun goes down. We've got a full moon. It's gonna be great conditions for tonight. Go ahead, we'll pop up some pictures of some of the fish that we have caught. Again, right when the sun goes down and even afterwards. We're gonna be throwing some pretty unique baits, a different style of fishing that we wanna to showcase to you guys here on the channel. Something that we've experimented with before, but something we haven't really shown you guys here in one of our videos. So we're not gonna to waste too much time. Let's go ahead, we're gonna finish getting the boat all launched and into the water. We'll see you out there. Absolutely beautiful day out here. A little hot for the beginning of September. I think today was uh, like 95 degrees up in this area. So a little warmer than we're used to, but we're out here, should cool off towards uh, sun going down and got no wind, should be just gorgeous. So real quick, just gonna tell you guys kind of the one-two punch that we got going on here for the day. Now the lake that we were fishing is crystal clear moderately deep i think the deepest point is maybe like 60 70 feet and uh, it's got a lot of humps and you guys have probably heard us talk about this a lot when we come out and walleye fish we like to look for humps especially this time of the year um, last week we went and did a little green bay sesh and if you guys know anything about green bay there's a lot of humps out there specifically door county a lot of deep water kind of resembles this except for it's inland so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going hump to hump here dropping the live scope down and we're gonna be trying to sharp shoot some fish. Uh, there's a mixture, like Brandon said, smallies and walleyes. So you can tell on this rod here, I still got a shiver hooked up. Um, they don't just work on the bay. Don't be scared to bring those out on some of the inland lakes here and uh, give them a go. And then on the other one, I just have like this small little spoon. And that's pretty much gonna be it for during like this time of the day. Once the sun starts to go down a little bit, we are going to maybe break out some top water, some jerk baits, some stuff like that. We are gonna hit some shallower rocks uh, before dark. And then once it gets dark, we'll have to talk to you guys. We're gonna switch methods completely and do something we don't film a whole lot on the channel. So when it gets to that, we'll talk about it. But that's kind of where we're starting right now. With that being said, I'm gonna drop the motor fully down, get this thing up on plane, and we're gonna cruise on over to the very first spot. up to the first spot through the trolling motor down Nick's up on the front I'm gonna be out the back here last time we were out here pulled up on this hump and uh, I don't remember exactly how big it was but landed one really really nice smallie I'm gonna say it was probably right around 19 20 inches or so but she was fat if we've got a picture of it we'll go ahead and throw it up on the screen for you maybe it's still out here maybe it's mama is out here, big old fat mama smallies. Throw it up on the nice little shelf we've got here. See if they're on top of it. Sitting in about 35 feet of water, but this hump goes all the way up to about 15 feet. So see what we can find. Boy. Came off. Dang it. What happened there with your drag? I definitely was too loose. Felt him hit it on the drop. Dang. First one. Missed it. Always check your drag. Ah, that's tough. Could have been a big one.
Well, as you guys can tell, it is now dark out and things have just not been going exactly how we envisioned when we first got out here. Now, like I said in the intro, we we're gonna sharpshoot. Um, we didn't have as much time as we wanted with that. Obviously you saw Brandon get hooked up with that one fish. I had one other bite um, that I didn't connect with. So we only did that for a little bit of time. The sun started to come down a little faster than we wanted. So then we went to the shallows and started throwing some jerk baits, some top water, and didn't get anything. So where we're at right now is the part of the video where we are gonna be pretty much the rest of the video is going to be this technique now we've been talking throughout the whole video about this technique and we have not shown this on the channel at all but we have been doing this for the last i want to say three four years now and with that being said this is what we're going to be throwing now if you guys do not know what this is this is a rapala husky jerk this is a shallow diving suspending jerk bait essentially but what we're going to be doing with this is tossing it behind the boat we're not technically trolling uh, we're not putting out planer boards or anything like that brandon and i will each have a rod on each side we do have rod holders but most likely we probably will be just holding on to it and basically we're going to be going through really shallow water with this technique using the trolling motor we're going to be sticking into that four to seven feet of water so don't got to be really going too fast uh, that's why we're doing this technique with no boards we're trying not to spook them in this ultra clear water and yeah every time we've done this this is probably one of the best bites for this lake you know you'd come out here during the day and catch nothing like we did and then now that it's dark out we're going to catch all the fish and hopefully i can portray that and show you guys we're going to go ahead we're going to start getting the rods back getting the trolling motor going but before we get going i want to talk to you guys about today's sponsor now we have not done a whole lot of night fishing for the past couple months and today we are obviously doing some night fishing so when you guys are night fishing you will want a headlight now today's sponsor is army tech and they were so kind enough to send this headlight to us this is their premium headlight and this thing is freaking sweet we have been using it for the last three months on all the times that we do come out at night and this thing is a one-two punch this is a lithium battery in this bad boy if you guys have this on high i think it shoots about six thousand lumens so if i turn this on right now i could probably spy at granny in the window over there but i'm not going to be doing that uh, and then i think if you have it on medium or low it this thing lasts hours on hours it'll last you for sure your whole entire trip and which is so nice because i am so tired of going through double a's as you see it's kind of got an interesting design this actually pops off and now you just have a flashlight that you can carry around if you guys are interested in the army tech flashlight we'll leave a link down in our description go ahead check it out and if you use our code down in the description as well you guys can save some money on the checkout thank you army tech for sponsoring today's video that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on my head and uh, we're gonna begin trolling, trolling, and hopefully we can start catching some fish. Are the rock bass supposed to eat when it's like? Oh, First one of the night. Took a little bit. Supposed to have a pretty good moon tonight. And uh, it's definitely not up yet, so we've not had as much action as we've been hoping for. Staying down, acting like a walleye. It is a walleye. There we go. Decent one. Look at that. All right. First fish of the evening, not a bad one, definitely not a giant. Usually when we've got the full moon or at least the most amount of moon that we can get, uh, we come up here and we start chasing these walleyes and uh, tell you what, a little bit of moonlight sure helps. They get very, very active, especially in the shallow water this time of year. Nice fish, let's put them on the bump. Go ahead, toss them on the bump just over 20 20 and a quarter ah oh, well that's tough because unfortunately this fish has got to go back i don't know if we're going to keep fish if we got a couple eaters you know maybe we'll take a couple home to clean but there she goes I 
that's got to be a smolly. I feel like the way that thing hammered it. I'm open walleye. So that was a walleye. Nope, I'm gonna go with it's not a wall. <laughs> Judging on that jump. No visual yet. Okay. There we go. Not a bad one. Fish number two. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That is a big one. Well, second fish of the night. Moon just started to pop out and we were just talking amongst each other, saying probably when that moon comes out, we're going to uh, catch a smallmouth. And uh, yeah, go figure. Moon came out a little bit, and first smallie of the night, first smallie of the day, which you would normally think smallmouth during the day, no problem, throwing Ned rigs on some rocks. No, not on this lake, trust me, we've tried it, but either way, nice, nice fish. Not a terribly long one, probably only like 18 inches maybe or so, but probably a nice solid three pounder they do get a lot bigger normally this time of the night if we do catch a smallmouth they're going to be giant and it's always fun i mean that one hit and it, thank god i actually had it in the rod holder because otherwise it probably <laughs> would have just fell out of my arms it hit so hard but go ahead get a release on this guy i don't need to get a picture caught plenty of these guys hopefully the fish start to get a little active it's been tough that fish came on the last pass where Brandon caught his like maybe 15 minutes ago. So moon is up now. It's uh, giving off decent amount of light. So turn the boat around and we're going to see if we can catch some more. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. That thing was electric. Well, I for sure know what fish this is. That's for sure a smoppy. But wow, did he hit that hard. Yeah. Oh my God. Came off. No. <sighs> no. Two in a row. Mm, that one hurts because that was big. Yeah, that that was big. That was God. better than the last one I had. All right, well, I didn't get hooked up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's get her back out there. There you go. That's another big smaller small. <laughs> Redemption. Moon comes out, smallies come out. I mean, it's not a bad fish, it's pretty big actually. Ooh, yeah, that is a good one. Anytime, Brandon. I just didn't want him to go down. There we go. Another fatty, dude. God, look at the girth on this thing. Incredible. Yeah. Bigger than the last one I caught, but I will say not as big as that last one I just lost. That thing was ripping drag. <laughs> you definitely know when a smallmouth hits one of these lures. I tell you what, they absolutely demolish it and just take off running. Moon is fully out, smallies are fully out. I don't really care. I mean, I just wanted to come out here and catch fish whether that be a walleye or a smallmouth i do not care but as you can tell smallmouth in this lake are all pretty much what you'd consider trophy size this one's probably that one might be four pounds that's a pretty big smallmouth get a release on them i'd like to catch a few more walleyes though before we leave but a couple of those in between i'm not going to complain all right, let's turn this boat around and uh, get our lines back out and hopefully the next one's a walleye. So like if we were to get a smallmouth, it should have been right there. Just banging bottom on solid rocks. Walleye too though. Yeah, that too. There you go. I just gotta talk about him. No jump yet. 
could be why. There we go. My first why. Not a very big one, but this one's gonna be pretty darn close to keeping size. If it is, it would be an absolute perfect, delicious one. We got almost 16 inches, 16. Yeah. Beautiful. We'll be throwing him down in the live well. We'll get that going here. Oh. First one. Fish are just all of a sudden snapping. I mean, I was ready to give up hope. I'm not even gonna lie. Between the bugs and just the no moon and the no fish for like a good two hours, yeah, I was ready to call her quits, but ah, those smallmouth are really getting me going and that keeper wall is gonna taste delicious. So we're gonna keep on going as long as the fish keep biting. Alrighty guys, well, just got off the water. It was a long night long evening we got here you know just as the sun was going down and unfortunately we had a couple missed opportunities a couple fish that we would have definitely like to have in the boat before the sun went down and then once it got dark it uh not a whole lot of action until the moon came out once the moon came out then we started seeing some action unfortunately that bite window was just very small this evening and you never know until we get out here what it's going to be like but tonight was definitely about i would say an hour and a half worth of a good bite after that it was really slow we did have a few other bites that we definitely wish we could have got back unfortunately sometimes when you hook up with big smallmouth they jump out of the water and they just they just shake it so we had a lot of fun out here though it was a great time getting out in the lund fall season is upon us today was really really warm and kind of unpredictable but really excited for the leaves to start changing colors up here i'm sure we're going to be up here within the next couple weeks having a blast so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up and we will see you guys on the next one tight lines from mbs